Hey guys, it's Sophie and welcome back to my video. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about my breastfeeding story with Aurora and how it went and why I stopped and stuff like that. I just thought I'd show you Aurora now as she's getting bigger and before she goes into the bath. Um, I will continue this video once I get out of the bath with her. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Hey guys, I'm sure you can tell we've just got out the bath and um, so as I said today we're going to talk about um, how the breastfeeding went and stuff like what I'd recommend if you were going to breastfeed because I wasn't prepared because um, originally I was going to only breastfeed for the first feed because I heard that it was like healthier for the baby and stuff like that. Like it's the most nutritious thing for the baby to have. So I was only going to feed for the first feed. Um, but then I liked doing it so um, I carried on doing it. We got about two weeks into me breastfeeding and she... No, it was two weeks into breastfeeding and she was like... She was that hungry all the time that like... No, it weren't two weeks, it was about a week. And she was that hungry all the time that, like, I ran out of milk. So I went to put her on a bottle, but she didn't agree with the bottle at all. She, like, threw it up straight away. And then, and stuff like that, because she was just drinking and drinking and drinking. Um, and then, about a week later, um, I carried, like, so obviously I proceeded to, like, breastfeed. And then about a week later, I got mastitis, which is where a pipe, like, where the milk comes through, blocks up. And the milk won't come out. So it was really sore, really painful. And after that, I decided that she's going to have that she's gonna have to go on formula because it's just that painful that it's, like, oh, I can't deal with it. I couldn't sleep on the side. I couldn't, um, like, basically move without, like, being in agony. So that's when we went on to the formula. We put her on up to milk and she was fine from that. But I think if I would have had um a pump like an electric pump because the one look like, having the manual one it just really wasn't helpful i would have like, if i could have done it again i would have got the electric pump but i didn't have the money to get an electric pump at the time like obviously i was still buying stuff for the baby and stuff like that but because like, no matter how prepared you think you are look like, i really wasn't as prepared as i thought i was like thought i had everything and then next thing i know i needed this and i needed that like we didn't have the right size dappies because we didn't expect it to come out as small as she did and stuff like that. Um, but I would recommend getting an electric pump because doing the manual one, it just aches your arm and you're there for ages trying to get something. But obviously, you can get something out, but it's taking a lot longer than what it would with an electric one. Um, but now, I do regret stopping breastfeeding. But obviously... It was the best thing for me at the time. Like, but she's fine with the aptamil and stuff now. It turned out that, like, all I was doing wrong was that she didn't, like, the Tommy Tiffy bottles, which most babies do like, so obviously I brought a load of them. I gave her the Tommy Tiffy bottles, but she was just drinking so quick from them. I even had it on, like, the, the lowest heat you can get, so the slowest flow. And she was just drinking so quick from that she was just throwing it all back up. So then I had to change to the man bottles, which are these ones, which have like, a, it's meant to be specially designed heat, designed by dentists and stuff like that, to meant to be like the nipple. And when she's had them, she's been absolutely fine. Like obviously she's had a little bit of sickness like when the weather's been really hot because like in the UK today there's been, like, not today, but like recently there's been really, really hot weather, which obviously none of us are used to. So of course it's going to play out with the babies and stuff like that um but that's really the only time she's been sick since changing onto the man bottles but i think that's all i'm going to say about the breastfeeding just if um you are having a baby or you are gonna like think about breastfeeding or are definitely going to breastfeed make sure you're prepared like i I'd say for a main checklist, make sure you've got nipple cream because it does hurt, it does crack and it does bleed most of the time. Like my mum said it happened to her and stuff like that. Um, 
and it happened to me and it was so painful but once I got the nipple cream I was fine um get an electric breast pump because the manual ones just take forever and ever and ever and to be honest you don't have the time doing that with a newborn baby you're doing everything else for them few minutes when they're down sleeping and they don't want it stuff like, and like that um get one of them nursing pillows the round ones that go around you yeah, because it was so much more comfier me lying around that especially after having the c-section like me putting that around just above where my scarring was and lying around that and just putting it on my breast it was a lot more comfortable than holding her there for ages like because sometimes she'd be there for like an hour and it would just become so like my arm would ache after a bit and obviously you can't take them off when they're already lapsed um but yeah i think that's all i've got to say um but uh thanks for watching and please be sure to subscribe there will be a new video tomorrow whatever time this is uploading if it's on if it's uploaded on the first if it's uploaded on the first day then there'll be another video today i did plan for this to go up by thingy but obviously videos take a long time to upload sometimes so thanks for watching she's about to kick off so uh make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell bye